Hi, I'm Victor. I'm a second year uh, land economist at uh, Downing College, uh, Cambridge. And apart from my course, uh, I like to uh, play some basketball and hang out with my friends. A typical day in my life, uh, I'll just give you an example of today. Uh, so basically, I started the morning, seven o'clock, woke up, uh, got ready. I had breakfast planned with some of my friends. So uh, I went to their college to have breakfast. Uh, which is great because they make custom omelets. And then I had two hours lectures on corporate finance uh, and then followed by this, this interview. Um, and then I have a friend's birthday party to go to um, for lunch. Afterwards, I uh, got a bit of work to do in the afternoon in, ter um, in terms of applications for internships and that sort of thing, fix up my CV. Uh, at night, um, get some takeout probably tonight and I've got a debate at the union. So. Um, it's a debate on whether the house should fear uh, the adoption of driverless cars. So I'm going to that at seven. Um, and then after that, probably be back for a bit more work before 10 o'clock when I have basketball training. So we're at Downing College now. Yes. What does it mean that you're at Downing College within the University of Cambridge? Uh, Cambridge is made up of 31 colleges. Um, and you, you apply to a college to live there, to uh, have, uh, make your friends there, to, to eat there. Um, so everything's run in, inside uh, each individual college. And each college uh, culture is really different. So it's interesting to, to go around and see what the different colleges are like. Um, and a big part of uh, university life is just um, essentially college life. So it, it's just a big, a smaller part of the big universe. Sure. Do you also have classes in your college or is it mostly residential here? So uh, for different courses, it varies. Um, the courses uh, are a bit different because um, they can have uh, t uh, tutors in your college teach them. Um, and also you can have classes which are booked in rooms inside the college, but it's usually run by um, a subject board, which is individual, a department of as particular subject. So you study land economy. Yeah. What does that mean? So land economy is a subject which uh, combines a few areas of study. Um, it combines law, economics, and real estate finance, um, real estate in general, and a bit of urban policy. Mm -hmm. Is that unique to Cambridge? or is that sort of a, a discipline that you can find at a lot of different universities? Yeah, um, as far as I know, there are, I think, two universities with a course specifically called Land Economy. Mm -hmm. um, but at, at universities, it's like um, Reading, there's, there's a course in, I think, real estate, which is very similar. They cover urban policy. So um, it's very related to that. Uh, it's, it's under the um, Chartered Surveyors um, accreditation. So. Um, a lot of property degrees, it, it falls in that category. Mm -hmm. And what initially drew you to land economy? Well, uh, land economy actually for me was a, a long time dream. So um, for me back in high school, I think in year 10, I recognized that uh, I was decent at economics at school. Mm -hmm. um, my dad was uh, in real estate and I was interested in law. So I thought this is the perfect course. Sort of the perfect intersection of all yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. So I thought it, this is, uh, there's, there's no other calling for me than this course. So I just um, had my eyes on it from year 10. So, uh, so where are we right now? We are in the Downing JCR, which is basically like the junior Colin room sort of thing. Um, it, yeah, parties are held here, you know. Um, at night, people come here to have a bit of fun. Amazing. Uh, so like overall, what's social life like here at Downing at uh, Cambridge? Social life, it's, it's pretty varied. I mean, you can um, really pick and choose what you, you, how you want to live your social life. I, I, there are definitely people who just prefer their rooms, I think. Sure. But I mean, at the same time, the bar's always filled every night. And like mm -hmm. every night you could be here and there's be people drinking, uh, having a good time. Uh, yeah, so it, it's pretty diverse going out. And Amazing. yeah. What do you tend to do on weekends? Weekends. Ah, well, weekends. It, it's weird because the Cambridge week starts on a Thursday, mm. so <laughs> um, weekends sometimes are, are in between like supervisions or sure. stuff like that. But I mean, socially speaking, um, I, I, I'm more of a I'm more of a hangout and chill with my mates kind of guy. I don't know. We sometimes we go to like uh, concerts, um, go to 
the plays, go to uh, movies, all, all sorts of things, really. A lot, a lot of things going on. Yeah, so um, much going on. And you said you also debate sometimes? Is that, yeah. Is oh. that like a, with an official debating union, yeah. debating club? So, so that's the Cambridge Union. So they, mm -hmm. they hold debates. I, I don't actually debate. So oh, I, I, okay. I just go and watch these like uh -huh. amazing people debate. So the, I mean, the lineup is insane. They have, uh, yesterday, uh, Kai-Fu Lee came to speak at the union. Um, so he, he was like the, the ex vice president of Google. Um, he's the CEO of S Innovation Ventures now in China. So, I mean, like crazy people like that. Last term I saw Stephen Hawking, um, Brian Cranston's coming. Uh, lots, lots of like big names. Amazing um, lineup, yeah. yeah, so I'm, I'm a member of the union, which a lot of people debate whether to buy the membership or not, because mm -hmm. it's pretty pricey. It's about sure. like, I think it's dropped now once 170 pounds. But I think it's really worth it. You get to go. Um, I sometimes go with my mates. Mm -hmm. um, and we just watch uh, watch the debates. Uh, <clears throat> How are we doing? Just, just 1v1? 1v1, oh, man. Let's do it. All right. And we get destroyed at this. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Denver versus Sydney. <laughs> Woo! Woo! No, I'm going to take you down. Oh, bring it. Let's go. All right. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, damn it. Okay. Oh, my <laughs> God. That was fast. Third point in football ever. Okay. All right. I guess that's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Oh my god. Oh, oh, come on. Ah. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Riveting. Come on, bring it. Come on, bring it. Oh, oh come on. Come on. No! Woo! I think that was an own goal. Yeah, I, I own gold. Well, that's fantastic. Good game. Good, Good game. game. Good game. Good game. So overall, uh, why did you end up choosing Cambridge? I, I mean, Cambridge to me was was always the dream in high school. Um, I looked, uh, I watched a lot of videos uh, when I was in high school. Uh, I thought. You know, student life there looks amazing. I mean, the course was ideally what I wanted. So in a lot of ways, Cambridge um, just really fitted uh, what I wanted from university. And uh, that's, that's, I guess that's why I chose Cambridge. Great. And what's been the most surprising or unexpected thing about Cambridge since you came here? I think the most surprising thing is, um, I guess the, the environment that, um, it is, it is competitive. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it's a pretty given uh, assumption when you think about, uh, you know, lots of students wanting to, to get good jobs. Um, but it, I mean, you, you go through the whole roller coaster of emotions at Cambridge. Um, there are times when you're just stuck in your room at 3 a.m. trying to understand some economics and it absolutely sucks. Um, but then there are other times that you think I'd be, I'd rather be nowhere else in the world. So. Um, it's nice that way. It's nice having um, just that dynamic, you know, emotional roller coaster. Um, and last question: uh, What advice would you give to a younger student who's thinking about applying? So I think um, one of the things that I would tell myself if I could go back in time would be um, see university as a means to something better, to something bigger. Um, Career-wise, uh, I think it's it's dangerous to to think university is the end goal. And I think no one should ever think university is the end goal, and that really comes through applications as well. Um, I think uh, the the tutors here, the teachers here, they're really aiming to see students um, propel themselves forward, um, and that's ideally, I guess, what the whole institution is about. So, um, yeah, really treat it as uh, as something to, to help you propel to the next step, I think. So you came here from Sydney. Yep. What was that transition like from Sydney to the UK? It was pretty big. Uh, when I got off the plane, I knew one person in the UK. Mm -hmm. So it was a complete different field. Um, I had basically no one I knew, but I mean, university makes it really easy. I mean, my college made it really easy. We had Freshers Week, we had um, lots of events on. And I mean, everyone's in the same boat. Everyone's come from different places around the UK, around the world. And I guess it's just a mixing pot of uh, meeting people and forming new connections. So um, even though I feel like 
I'm still in the process of um, moving my home from Sydney to here. Mm -hmm. it, it is moving, it's definitely moving and um, it's just so exciting. It's so exciting to have so many more opportunities here. Yeah. Yeah. And you'd recommend it? Uh, the, yeah, I'd definitely recommend city. it. Yeah, for sure. If you like this video and like to learn more about top universities, please give this a like and subscribe to this channel.